fight fans, so it happens. Mayweather McGregor, what a circus. The circus is now over. I hope you guys got your money's worth. I didn't pay for this fight. I, I live streamed the motherfucker, but I didn't pay for it. I didn't bet on it. For all you motherfuckers out there that, that you know, that bet on it and bought the pay for you, I hope, like I said, you had a good time. You got your money's worth. Mayweather was different in this fight, but he was no different than any other fights that he's been in since, you know, whatever, 09, the last time he put somebody down. But um, this was interesting because Mayweather was fighting like a, a a different fighter. You know, he was coming forward because he knew all along from the get-go that he that McGregor's power is not going to bother him. He knew this all along. Fucking McGregor had, you know, first couple rounds winning and then... Next thing you know, Mayweather was winning all the rounds after like a, the third one because this was planned from the get go. I hope you guys knew this coming, you know, coming to this fight, betting on it and watching it. This was a circus act. It wasn't a fucking professional, you know, thriller in Manila type stuff, you know. But it was indeed entertaining for a Saturday night. Okay, <laughs> so that was it. So. I hope you guys didn't expect anything different. All this talk about, you know, I'm going to knock this fool out in four rounds. This fool ain't got no chance. This fool's head is so small. All of that shit was promotional talk to get people to be to be interested in a fight to buy. I bet fucking 90% 90, 90 of the people that bought this fight and watched this fight and actually spent money on this fight were not even fucking boxing or MMA fucking fans. They were just some random casual fans. And that's what promotional fucking press conference does man and you know go all over the country and try to promote the fight and they made their money you know McGregor seems happy win or loss win or lose because he made money he made like fucking what 60 million dollars maybe even more with a pay-per-view you know so he was guaranteed 30 million made with obviously he's probably around fucking 200 million right now so it was interesting McGregor had some things to say about you know um, the fight was too short. It was st the stoppage was premature because said he was wobbly. He was, you know, that's what he does when he's when he when he fights. He's fatigued. It's not, you know, no nothing like you know power, nothing like that. Which is, I guess it is. You know, he's in the post fight interview he was saying saying that you know what happened to Nick Diaz, to Nate Diaz when he fought him, that you know he he wobbles. Just just his nature. It's real that he wanted you know Mayweather to at least put him down. Which is I couldn't disagree. Whatever. You know, but being this much of a money fight, I think if I was the fucking referee, man, I could have let him go. Let him go. Let him fight. You know what I mean? It's not like it's going to hurt anybody. It's not like it's the Trilla in Manila we're watching Mike Tyson versus somebody that, you know, uh, li life is on the line here. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Mayweather, he could have punched McGregor so many times he wouldn't do no damage, man. He ain't going to have no brain injury in this. You know, if I was a, if I was a, it, it should have been, um, it should have been 12 rounds at least, you know what I mean? And then TKO him in a 10, 12 round. But give us another two rounds, you know what I mean? It, there was no, there, there was not lives, uh, uh, you know, lives at stake here, you know. Like, whatever, man. This is what it is. Referee does what he does. But I thought he was, I thought he should have let it go, you know. But anyways, we'll let it go or not, Mayweather was going to win it anyway from the get-go. This was planned. Mayweather knew the game plan. Mayweather had a game plan. Hell, for all I know, fucking he put Malinaji in fucking Conor McGregor's camp for a reason i don't know you know but overall hope all you guys all, all you motherfuckers got your money's worth but to me it was a circus act didn't put no money in, didn't bet didn't fucking pay for it i couldn't i just refused to do it and i i'm glad i did because this wasn't a fight now i'm looking forward to golovkin canelo i keep saying that golovkin canelo and that's fight probably i'm gonna have to purchase and i'm gonna have to put some money in but um in this fight, let's talk about a little bit, I guess. Um, first couple rounds, no change there. Mayweather, you know, uh, studies his opponent and kind of lure McGregor in, thinking that he's actually going to win the fight. He's actually going to have a chance. Man, those are all fucking part of the game plan. Let him fucking tire. Let him do this. Let him, you know, take all his energy out in the first couple rounds, and then we'll dominate. And you guys can see, after the third round, Mayweather was winning all the rounds, you know, until the damn TKO. It was funny, though, because Mayweather didn't, don't really fight like this. He fought like a Mexican. As <laughs> McGregor said, I turned him into a Mexican fighter. It's kind of like Marquez versus Pacquiao, man. They were like toe-to-toe -to -toe there, man. It's kind of crazy. But um, overall, I didn't, I didn't think that Mayweather um, was concerned about McGregor's power or else he wouldn't, he wouldn't be fighting like this. It was weird. 
Um, Mayweather was not the same as when he fought Berto nor Pacquiao. You know, when he fought Berto and Pacquiao, he was fast and quick. But he's has well, over 700 days um, inactive. So, and he's 40. Uh, you, you can see some age there, but he's still quick. He's still, he still can fight. You know what I mean? Um, I'm sure he wouldn't fight. He wouldn't have the same game plan like this if he, he was rematching with Pacquiao. I'm sure this fucking fight would probably go all 12 rounds. But, and he wouldn't be standing there and taking shots because he was taking a lot of shots. You know, funny though is because after he took a couple shots from, from, May, from McGregor, Mayweather like decided like, oh, I can take his punches. You know what I mean? And this is no 10-ounce gloves. This is 8-ounce gloves. So that was surprising to me. That was something new. Um, Mayweather said in the post fight that he's, this is really his last fight. He's 15 0. That he's got respect for Rocky Marciano, 49 0. Of course, they're a different weight division. But uh, he gives, you know, he, you know, take his hat off to him. But uh, he is 15 0, and he made a lot of money, probably bust around two, three hundred million dollars tonight. McGregor's guaranteed 30 million, and he's probably going to make a, at least a hundred million dollars tonight. Um, there was some controversies there with a, in a pay per view outage because so many people try to buy the pay per view from all over the world, you know. You know. This was just not in Las Vegas. I'm here in Las Vegas, by the way. There's so many cars, so many people, blah, 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 blah. You guys know it. Um, but overall, what do I, if, to, to be quite honest, what did I think of McGregor's fucking performance? I'm sorry to say this. Crap. Shit. That's what I thought because they hyped, he hyped this fight up. And I thought, you know, people thought that, that he was really going to do something. This was crappy, if, that's, if you ask me. But the reality... You know, it's what we expected. But from the hype, from the shit that he was talking about knocking this fool out in four rounds and bouncing him off the ground, it was, you know, the result's pretty crappy if you if you base it off on that. But the reality, like I said, was what we expected. Mayweather was going to win. A guy, first boxing fucking pro uh, fight, and he's just going to walk into somebody that's 49 0 prior to this fight? No, that's not going to happen, man. Shit. Mayweather's. Been there with fucking Marquez, fucking Pacquiao, fucking De La Hoya, and you think you're just going to go to there and, and take that away from them? That's not going to happen. So congrats to those guys who fucking made tons of money betting $800,000. I wonder what Mayweather bet on himself because he went on Jimmy Kimmel and he said he was going to bet on himself. At least he bet at least a million, if not $10 million, you know. I'd say about, let's split the difference and say he bet on himself for $5 million. Maybe more, man. I don't know. I'm, I'm sure he'll reveal that. But he said... That this fight wouldn't go <laughs> fucking 12 rounds, and he, he was right. You know, he was right, man. He didn't go 12 rounds because they knew all along from the fucking press con, from the, from the, you know, um, the the time that this fight was fucking initially brought to the public, they knew all along. The Mayweather and his camp knew all along that May McGregor didn't have no shot, but they were just trying to figure out how to sell the fight in fucking all the countries in the world. You know, and they did a good job at that. They did a good job. And part of this fight happening and, and selling really high, if not close to Pacquiao, if not probably surpassed it, is because McGregor has mouth. You know, anybody you fight, anybody that you fight with, with a mouth on him like McGregor, you're going to sell the fight. If you guys didn't notice, May Mayweather didn't even really say shit to this in this in this whole um, circus. You know what I mean? He, he was, to be quite honest. I think McGregor said more shit than fucking Mayweather. But, like, McGregor, McGregor got the country behind him, got the Ireland behind him. All those guys that flew into Vegas, bought pay-per-view back at home, you know, hotels, fucking, you name it, those t-shirts, you know, that's, you know, he sold the fight. He sold the fight. If this was MMA, it would be a lot interesting because I really think that I would probably put money on McGregor. But because this is boxing, this is first professional debut, no, man, come on, come on. We knew that he wasn't going to win. He wasn't going to do anything. Those first couple rounds that people were giving McGregor to, that was part of Mayweather's fucking game plan. If Mayweather's game plan was to fucking beat him right away, then he would have never won those rounds. He would have never won those rounds. It's not that I'm giving Mayweather all the credit in the world. It's just that I'm not giving McGregor all the credit that he that <laughs> that he wanted to be to, that he wanted to get. He, he's not going to get those credits from me. At least not from me. Because this is a circus, man. <laughs> and he came in like 70, 17 pounds heavier. Not that it's going to matter. He's going to lose anyway. But come on, man. You, you've been fighting and training in like the 150s maybe, you know, in, in last months. And then you come on and gain 17 pounds in a, la in, in a fight night and expect to do so. I bet you if he weighed less, 
then he probably would have more gas. You know what I mean? And there was a reason why Mayweather came on yesterday at 149 and a half. He should have been closer to that. That should have been a telltale sign. He should have been like, oh, why is Mayweather 149 and a half? Every fucking move that Mayweather does in his camp and his father has a fucking reason. There's reasons behind it. If I was there with McGregor, I'd be like, there's a reason why that motherfucker came in 149 and a half. Don't let him fool you. So we got to get close to that. Instead of you weighing a lot tonight, it's either you stay the same at 153 or maybe 155 tops. That's it. You know what I'm saying? If you can't lose no more weight. But not 17 pounds. Dude, that's fucking, that's overnight. Shit, people fucking gained that in a year. God damn, that's so much water in there. You know? So, and he's not fucking, he's not gonna, he's not used to fighting 12 rounds. He's used to fighting one, two rounds, 30 seconds. You know, this is his first fight that actually lasted 10 rounds in three minutes. That's fucking 30 minutes. That's a long ass time for him. And he's gonna come in there with 17 pounds heavier? Whatever. Um, well, congrats to both. They both made money tonight. They gave some entertaining fans, but, um, for Mayweather said in the post fight that you know because they disappointed people on the Pacquiao Mayweather fight, this was it. This wasn't it, man. This wasn't it. I'm, this was nowhere near a boxing match. All right, this was a fucking circus. This was like hell, man. I, if fucking Mayweather had one hand behind his back, he's probably still win the fight. Come on, there's no shot. You know McGregor will need his knees and elbows. You know to be quite honest, the best. Analysis that came out that I that I heard was from Roy Jones Jr. with um with Max Kellerman and um, Stephen A. You know that was the best analysis because he said the only time would McGregor have a chance if he had brought a guns and stuff like that. That was the best analogy. You know, shout out to people that 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 predicted his fight in the get from the get go. De La Hoya, Pacquiao, fucking Mike Tyson, fucking you know Holyfield. They they knew all along McGregor didn't have a chance, but for casual fans and, you know, some of us that are fantasizing about McGregor actually winning the fight, uh, knocking Mayweather out. And I said this in my prediction yesterday, and I said, the only reason, the only time that McGregor might win if he catches Mayweather, but that, <laughs> that is fucking contingent on McGregor even landing a fucking shot. You know, I'm, I'm talking about landing a big shot, a meaningful shot. Hell, after, like I said, Mayweather a couple rounds felt that shot from McGregor. Mayweather knew how long I can take his punches, let alone be 10-ounce gloves. This was 8-ounce gloves. If this was 10-ounce gloves, then fucking Mayweather would really not feel shit. If this is 8-ounce gloves, you know what I mean? Shit. So... We know that Mayweather could take McGregor's punches with boxing gloves. You know, I'm not talking about MMA gloves, boxing gloves. So my take on this was it was a good fight for for being being at a circus and a weekend entertainment. That was it. It was no boxing match. It was entertainment. Do I think that it was prematurely stopped? Hell, I don't know. You guys decide. To me, I would love to see it go all 12 rounds, make people's money's worth. You know what I mean? But... But I somewhat agree that the referee should have um, let uh, McGregor go down. You know, McGregor said that too in a post fight interview. Let the motherfucker go down, man. You know, have Mayweather have a knockdown on his career. TKO because of a stoppage, cool. But, you know, I think for the money, yeah, people deserve to watch, to see somebody go down. Nah, he should have let it go down. But anyway, that's my take on it. Let me know what you guys think. Drop me a comment. And as always, Subscribe and stay cool. Peace.